by Susan Cornwell and McKinney Washington, Reuters, U.S. Senate Democrats and Republicans sought to reach an agreement on Thursday to avert a debt crisis, after Democrats showed openness to a Republican offer to allow an extension of the federal debt ceiling and Democrats called off a Wednesday afternoon vote after the Senate's top Republican, Mitch McConnell, floated the plan that would buy a couple of months to resolve the but a deal could just kick the can down the road until December, when Congress also faces a deadline for funding the government. Democrats also want to pass two massive spending bills that make up much of President Joe Biden's domestic agenda in the coming week. Senator Dick Durbin, the chamber's number two Democrat, welcomed McConnell's offer, saying it would provide additional time for Democrats to reach an internal agreement on Biden's multi-trillion dollar social policy package and to pass a $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure. It was a reckless and irresponsible strategy which Senator McConnell finally realized, Durbin told CNN. So, he's extended the debt ceiling till December. It still is not resolved. Without congressional action to raise the $28.4 trillion debt limit, the Treasury Department has forecast that it will run out of ways to pay all of its bills by October 18. Republicans have blocked Democratic efforts to bring up legislation to suspend. McConnell suggested passing legislation to raise the debt limit by a fixed dollar amount, which he did not specify, until December. That offer triggered hours of behind-the-scenes negotiations between the two sides then ran late into the night. We're making good progress. We're not there yet. But I hope we can come to an agreement. Thursday morning, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said on the Senate floor shortly after mid- There was no immediate update on Thursday morning from the offices of Schumer or McConnell. Other Democrats said they were examining the offer. I think it's a step forward. Obviously I hope we can now negotiate a process that creates a long-term solution to the debt ceiling, said Senator Bernie Sanders, an independent who caucuses with Democrats and is a leader. McConnell on Wednesday described talks with Democrats as trading paper, which you always do at this point. But while Democrats were interested in a two-month extension of the borrowing cap, they showed little interest in another suggestion by McConnell that they use the intervening weeks to pass a longer debt ceiling extension through a complex process called reconciliation. Several Democrats said this would be too complicated. We're not going to do debt limit through reconciliation, said Democratic Senator Debbie Stabenow. At this point, if we can move it, the debt ceiling, till December, that just gives us more time to get the president's agenda. Republicans, meanwhile, said they had been worried that Democrats might change a rule https colon slash slash www.reuters.com slash world slash us slash us dash senate dash filibuster dash looms dash large dash leaders dash seek dash debt dash ceiling dash deal dash 2021 dash 10 dash 06 known as the filibuster that requires a supermajority of 60 votes for most legislation to advance. If the debt the Senate is split 50 to 50 between the parties, which has allowed Republicans to use the filibuster to block Democratic efforts to suspend the debt limit as well as other Democratic initiatives. But Biden said late on Tuesday that Democrats would consider making an exception to the filibuster https colon slash slash www.reuters.com slash world slash a slash what dash is dash is dash senate dash filibuster dash why dash is dash everyone dash talking dash about dash it dash 2021 dash 10 dash 06 to hike the debt ceiling asked if his fellow Republicans were getting concerned about getting close to a default. Senator Kevin Kramer said, Republicans are more concerned about the prospect of blowing up the filibuster. Reporting by Susan Cornwell and McKinney Bryce. Additional reporting by David Morgan and Susan Heavey. Editing by Mary Milliken, Grant McCool and Cheesy.